different people. Uh, I'm coming to you today to do a video on what I do when I get an order from a chef. So uh, basically from I get the order and this is just going to take you through how I prep the order before I actually deliver it. Um, I'm sorry if it's shaky. Um, I have my tripod over here but all of a sudden the thing that I use to actually hold and mount my phone is missing. So someone took it. I don't know who but um, or misplaced it whatever but anyway so I have a selfie stick sorry if it's shaky um one of the um one of my viewers actually asked for me to do this so this one is for you so the first thing my cart well, i'm gonna turn i don't know how do i turn this around i don't know please tell me if you know how to turn around the video without me actually having to um stop doing video so here's my my cart i got this cart uh, from uh lowe's uh, it was about a hundred bucks it's nice it's got the little handle and all that jazz so in my cart goes from the bottom, I've got, um, usually I keep like three boxes. I have three empty ones. And then by the time I'm done, you know, if it's a decent harvest day, I'll have three um, uh, full ones, you know, over here, obviously, because these will be filled. Um, I've got some butcher paper that's cut. I cut it um, to kind of fit. Sorry, it's really hard doing this freaking selfie stick. Um, and sorry for that noise. That is my uh, misting system kicking on there. But uh, anyway, so I put these, I put these in the bottom of the box as well as on the top of the box when the mushrooms are actually uh, in the box. So these boxes uh, hold five pounds of mushrooms. I get them from TR at Earth Angel Mushrooms. Uh, if you need some boxes like this, tell him that I sent you. And uh, yeah, tell him I sent you. Anyway, so I've got these boxes, uh, butcher paper on there. The butcher paper and most of this stuff can be found on my kit page. It's uh, kit.com slash funky fungi. And you can see a lot of the stuff that I buy. Um, I have a little trash can here with the liner. This is where I put all the excess substrate or, you know, if something falls and it's just not good, I'll throw it in there. There's just always trash. Um, I have uh, my masks here. Because I have three other people that work here with me, I put my name on it on mine so that i'm not putting someone else's dirty mask and, and and face stuff face juices on mine so this is someone else i'm going to set it aside um i've got my scale here i'm gonna go ahead and turn my scale on um i'll do the light so you can kind of see it and uh because i started with the box on top of it it's already been what they call teared um if if you know so it's basically zero so if i took this off um, and, and put something on it, uh, whatever it's, <laughs> whatever I put in the box is showing the actual weight, not just with that in the, the that in the, uh, the box. I uh, have extra liners for the trash. Um, I keep post-it notes. So how we do it, if I don't have, usually I don't harvest to order. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, I had a chef yesterday order 30 pounds of mixed mushrooms. I'm not going in right now and harvesting his 30 pounds because uh, I'm not delivering him to him till Thursday. Uh, and I've got deliveries that are, do I have any today? Actually, I do have one delivery today and because I, I left a box. Normally delivers on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday for us. Um, but I have a delivery today um, and then I've got uh, a lot of deliveries tomorrow. So I'm going to you know, use whatever's in my fridge and potentially these boxes for tomorrow. So I try to keep them as fresh as possible. So having said all that, what we do is we're going to use this uh, sticky note, write down the date, today's date, it's July 24th. And um, when we're done, I always put it on the right hand side. Uh, so it's the date and what is in the box because when they get stacked, you can't really see what's in the box. So um, I'm doing a lot of mixed boxes right now, like you know, blues and elms and chestnuts all in one box. It's pretty popular with my chefs. Uh, we have a lot of blues that are gonna start coming in. So we'll also have just single boxes of blues, single boxes of elms. But other than that, we have we do a lot of mixed boxes. So I'll write, uh, we'll, we'll just shorten it. We'll do B you know, for blue, E for elm, you know, I for Italian, etc. So we know exactly what's in the box. Um, when I am telling chefs what we have for the week, if we have, let's say, full boxes of blues, I'll say, you know, we have box five, five pound boxes of blues, and then we also have five pound boxes in mixes of blues, Italians, chestnuts, elms, you know, whatever it is. I don't say specifically like, yep, I got two boxes of blues and elms, and five boxes of blue elms and Italians, and, 
you know, I, I don't go into all that, um, and they don't seem to mind. Um, it's just, it, it's, it's easier that way. And one of the reasons I am doing so many mixed boxes is I tried some new species once we moved in here, trying to see, uh, you know, what works with the, the temperature that I have in the room right now and all kinds of stuff. So when I harvest, I'm not sometimes getting five pounds of elm or five pounds of chestnut. You know, I, I might just have like two pounds of chestnut. So I'm not just going to let it sit there. So I, I mix it up. And uh, so, yeah. Um, I also keep this little hair thing. Again, for me, it's just so that my hair doesn't get frizzy. And then the last thing that I keep, well, I keep a, a couple other things. I keep um, a scalpel. Um, I've been having an issue. I don't know if anyone else has or not. I don't know if it's, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm having this issue because I don't remember having it before in the cabin. But certain, not even just certain species, but certain ones of my bags, I've been doing the, the lateral cut. Um, and first flush is generally fine, generally. Second flush, for whatever reason, sometimes the the mushroom or the, or the I don't know what that was. So, um, sometimes the pins are actually kind of getting stuck underneath the bag to the point where it's, it's the bag is like choking it out. It's 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 like they're they're fruiting, not just pinning, fruiting, but not finding not quick enough to find the the gash that's already there. So what I've been doing is I've been using that scalpel to kind of cut an X at that point to let it, you know, basically to help free it. And uh, when I do that, I'm getting a lot bigger second flushes, like upwards of almost two pounds when I got two pounds in the first flush. So I'm cutting my bags a lot more than I'm used to. I'm cutting them twice, basically. So it's just, I don't know. Let me know if, you, if you've had that issue, but it never happened before in the cabin, that's for sure. Uh, so one last thing, I got a couple of Sharpies. I use the, the big ones, uh, the thick ones, because the little ones you really can't see that well. And I also bring in a little hand towel. You never know, sometimes the bags will get wet. You have to wipe them down, especially if you're marking on them, because obviously they won't wipe on a, um, on a wet bag. But um, we mark them after the very first flush, after we harvest. I just take a marker and, you know, doesn't matter the color, and I just mark it with a line so that we know that a first flush has happened. Um, you know, when you have your second flush, you can't always tell that a first flush has happened. We get rid of our blocks, with the exception of chestnut, we get rid of them after the second flush. So if you haven't marked it, you know, and, and you're not for sure. Hey, I'm doing a, I'm doing a video real quick. So, um, do you have it though? Yes. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a tripod, you guys, because I found the culprit. Marissa, wait, 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 wait. Say hi. Hello. I'm calling you out. This is the culprit who stole. My <laughs> I knew I wasn't we going crazy. It over and it broke. Okay. Well, anyway, so this so is this is Marissa. So Hello. she um so she, Marissa normally she does all the deliveries. Um, today I'm actually gonna have her batching. Um, a lot of the harvesting, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I knew someone had to have taken yeah. it, and I'm not going to text about it. All right. Cool. Yeah. But, um, all right, so when we go inside the grow, I'll, I'll have the, um, the tripod bike. Thank God. Um, where the hell was I? So, so yeah, so I, I recommend, especially if you work with other people, mark the bag if the first flush has happened so that you know if you're harvesting it and it already has a mark on it, that means you're harvesting the second flush and get rid of the bag. Make sense? Got it? Good. And, again, if someone else has a better solution, let me know. But this works for us and it's quick. Um, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead in the grow and uh, I'll just show you actually how to harvest because some people, you know, they, they don't know exactly how to harvest and every kind of species is a little bit different. So let's go check it out. Oh, one last thing that um, I bring in, I forgot, is uh, I have a lot of these bins just lying around with, uh, I like to get the ones that have holes in them. This one, as you can see, uh, it's like good, what does it say? Good at the next five pound uh, box so because the the boxes you know they they're, they're they're cardboard so the longer they stay in the um cooler the you know the, they're they, they get soggy so i try not to leave too many of them in there if i'm noticing that you know i'm done with all my boxes i'm, I'm sorry i'm done with most of the harvest but we have a couple more to harvest but i know it's not going to equal five pounds um, I'll put them in this box here, still put one of those pieces of butcher paper on top, and uh, I'll leave it in the cooler so that whoever comes in the next day adds these mushrooms to the first cardboard box and then keeps it moving. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also have other um, boxes like this for 
us to take home. At the moment, we're, we're, we're selling everything that we have, so I don't have a lot of extra at the moment. We're getting there. We're not even producing what we need to produce. I'm actually having a second steamer built uh, to because we're just not getting it done. But uh, anyway, so I have another one like this that's like not good, take home, and it's mostly aesthetic. They don't look that good, or I harvested them too late or something like that. So let's take this in here as well. Okay, so we are in the grill right now, and um, I've turned off the high pressure misting system in my fans just so that hopefully you can hear me. And I'm like talking like really loud, as loud as I can. Um, so I'm only gonna show like one five pound box, um, kind of what that looks like, how many mushrooms that is. And uh, I'm gonna let Marissa do the rest because I have lab work today. I did bring an extra shirt and I'm gonna scrub my arms and hands really good before I start. But generally I don't like doing this uh, before lab work. Um, sometimes when I'm here by myself, I just have to if, if stuff is too far gone because uh, it, it's going to take me probably, I don't know, five hours or six hours for the amount of lab work that I have to do by myself today. So anyway, so as we're looking, um, I've got some elms here that are um, uh, popping. Some of these are like uh, second flush, so they won't be... Um, uh, whatever <laughs> they're not gonna be getting harvested now this one here I'll bring it closer this elm here as you can see it's really gone too far you see the gills are, are really coming up uh, this one here is probably okay um you know but it would have been nice to have harvested this uh, I'd say probably around 2 in the morning right now it's 11 23 it's just gone a few hours past and they grow so fast, but, um, but it's still very sellable. It just would have been nice to have been harvested uh, a few hours ago. So, all right, so basically what I'm gonna do to harvest, I tell my employees anyway, this is how I do it. You take your thumbs and put them underneath the mushroom and you're just gonna kind of gently rock it back and forth or side to side. This one I can tell is gonna be tough to get out can you see how thick that is? That's when I was talking about uh, making that second cut. I'll show you. So this, I, I'd be fighting this like it was a fish not wanting to, you know, come out the water. It's gonna be, it's really, really tight right there. And so as it was growing, I guess I didn't catch this one. What I would have done is just taking my scalpel and just kind of gave it a little bit of room to, to breathe. I didn't do that as it was growing, so I just did it now to make it easier to harvest, but that was really, really tight. Um, it still worked out just fine, but, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead though, and, and there's a little bit that might, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that. So, but yeah, this sucker is thick. All right. So, let me see here. I don't see a, uh, I don't see a line here. This was uh, spawned on July 2nd. Today is July 24th. So it was spawned 22 days ago. And yeah, I'm guessing that this is a first flush because none of the July 2nds, they're still on their first flush too. Sometimes people do miss, um, you know, doing that mark and so, you know, whatever, stuff happens. So, now I have this. Oh, there we go. And sometimes I get questions too on, do I trim them, you know, or do I just give it like this? Well, I generally don't trim, except for this. I mean, that's a whole lot of excess right there, a lot. So I would actually kind of trim this. What I should have is a little bit of a knife in here. I don't, so sometimes I wind up just using um, my scissors. I prefer to use a knife. And just cut just cut a little bit of that off. I still wanna leave some substrate on there. If you don't leave the substrate, then you just have loose mushrooms. So I don't wanna cut all that off, but I wanna cut off as much as I can because I mean, that's just, that's a whole, whole lot of something. So I'm gonna set that aside real quick. Um, Cause I'm actually, it's too thick to use my, my uh, too thick to use my scissors on that. So I'm just gonna take my marker and just do a line like that. 
Now everyone knows that the first flush has happened, so when the second flush happens, um, you know, it's, they know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna kind of quickly, what I do is I quickly look around to see if there are any more elms that can maybe make a, full, a five pound box. These aren't ready. I've got more, I do have more over here. here I'm gonna take this off. So if you kind of look through, I've got um, lion's mane over there. I've got more elms. I've got blues way there in the background. I've got more blues. Um, hopefully you saw all that. So I think I'll have enough, because um, I've got ones underneath too. I think I have enough, so I'll do a five pound box and uh, I'll see you outside again. Okay, I'm back. Um, I wanted to show you um, just that same box of elms. Actually, I wound up just doing, this is separate because I wanted to show you how I cut this one. Um, but this here is actually, a, what was that? Go see what that is. <laughs> that scared me. It might be a delivery. Sorry about that. Um, this was actually 5.75 pounds. Um, and if you can see, there's actually a kind of a hole there and a hole there. Um, hole meaning, you know, it's, it's not all the way um, filled, which is kind of a normal. Um, normally, we have to kind of tuck the mushrooms in and really fill it. These were actually a little bit on the wet side. I've been playing a little bit with my humidity. I think I shared that in the last video. Um, we had kind of a big temperature shift here, so I've been tinkering, and these are a little wet. So I know that, oh, this is another big thing. I sell these as five pound boxes. I never fill them to just five pounds. I always fill them to at least 5.1, at least. Usually I tell my employees 5.15, no more than five and a quarter, because um, then we're just giving away money. Um, unless we're like delivering that day. The reason is they lose some of their water weight, um, which is why we put the butcher paper on there in the first place, so that, that, that uh, it kind of helps to protect and keep some of the moisture in. So uh, this was five and uh, 5.75, which is a whole lot, but I think it's gonna lose a lot of the moisture, because I'm probably not gonna deliver these until maybe two days from now. I'm gonna put the butcher paper on and then I'm, I always weigh them again just to be sure because you never want a chef getting their box weighing them and being like oh my god like I'm getting gypped even though it was over five or five pounds when you had it but then it's 4.8 when they get it so always overfill a little bit whatever you feel comfortable with the last thing I was just gonna show you how I trim this and again normally normally I don't trim but in this case again I'll show it to you in case you didn't see it that's just way too much stem. I don't mind the um, substrate at all. It's just, that's too much stem that can't be used. You, they can't cook with that. And that's just a lot. I mean, that's probably a damn quarter pound right there. So for this cutting board, um, I'm, I wouldn't normally bring this in. This doesn't normally happen that much. I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay, let's try to do this. I, I saw this going differently in my mind. Let's try not to cut off the finger. <laughs> All right, so this is a decent amount of, that's, that's all not edible. Um, it's probably a quarter pound. So I'm gonna give the chef this and it pretty much all is edible. And uh, that's it. So I hope that this video has been helpful. If uh, you like the video, obviously give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, you're a whack, go ahead and subscribe right now. Um, and again, all the stuff that I use, or pretty much everything I use, is on my kit page. It's kit.com slash funky fungi. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.